There we go. Anyone who wants to know, that's the T-shirt we got for him when we was on holiday, which we wouldn't show you at the time. Just do it tomorrow. It's a bit like your logo, isn't it? That's what it should be. Well, I'm doing it today, look. Of course you are. So here we are, folks. A lovely spring day now. So this is the first real day of spring with Elia. Well, definitely in the UK. So um, I'm taking a try, uh, taking this opportunity to do a bit of garden work now, cut the grass and all that. I've pulled Gary in to give us a hand as well. He's doing the strimming around the edges. So I've got this far so far up to there. And uh, we're gonna have to repair these little holes here the dogs dug last year. But up until now, all I'll do is just finish this grass cutting off around, all the way around here, right around to the other side. Gary's just been around strimming all the edge there. We're gonna be doing a uh, jet washing, all this wall, getting all these um, old wash tubs and things off of there as well. And also get all the jet patio jet washed, all this pathway around here, which uh, now, We've got the trees down here, which we had some big trees up there. This used to be very, very mossy, basically. So, um, and also that used to go really, really green every year. But I mean, it's very dirty at the moment, but we will get that done now as well. So um, yeah, a bit of tidying up to do. All this lot here, we plan to level off and uh, drag all that down and then lawn all that lot. That's the plan now. We've had the hedges cut down while we was away, all level at the top there. All this has got to be dragged off and cleared off and cleaned. That shed's got to be relocated. Around here is the uh, chassis for the Reliant Regal, the trotter van which I've got, which needs to be now moved around to the uh, concrete plinth around the corner there. And now the weather's brightened. Now it's the time to start all this work which is gonna happen this year. So I'm just gonna cut this grass now, put you on a bit of time lapse for that and uh, see you in a minute. Just one look. Oh, that's looking a hell of a lot better now look at that folks look well pleased with that still a lot of work to do like clearing up all this lot here and tidying up there but uh we're on the right track now while i've been doing that gary's come along and uh taken all the excess wood off of the uh trot van there as you can see that needs a good clean up again i probably this was powder coated this side this all powder coated but um I'll probably go over it with a set of hammer right again. I'm going to have to do some work, take all the wheels off, because I put all new brake cylinders on there and everything, but uh, that was about six or seven years ago now, and they've been left on the outside. Right, I'll get a roll of the gallery then, and we'll try and get this around the other side of the house now. And that'll freeze up all this pathway, which we can clear up. And uh, yeah, definitely moving in the right direction. See you in a minute. Oh, it's pushing nice and easy. Well, that's not moved for many years, is it? <laughs> oh, Merlin, don't know what's going on, Merlin, do you? Look at that. It's moved for the first time in probably, I don't know, six years maybe. And it's going pretty smoothly, isn't it? At least the wheel cylinders ain't stuck or whatever, the brakes or whatever, because it had all new brakes in it. Right, hold on, folks. I can now work on that. I'm going to get a cover for it so I can cover it up. But um, everything you see on there, folks, will be done on my Retro Restore channel. So um, there is about 46 videos on the restoration of the Trotter van if you're interested in that. So um, do pop over there. Maybe hit the subscribe button as well if you want. And uh, yeah, time to move forward. Now I'm going to try and fill these holes up with some earth and then put some new seed on it. So let's get on to that. Right, well I couldn't find a little shovel or a little spade so I found a, a bricklayer's hawk or whatever it's called. So let's get this bag open Gary. Might be a bit nearer with it. Yeah. Go on it. Right there we go. So get some of that in that hole. He's watching. Look, he's the one who calls it. Look. 
flick merlin so we'll just try and get that in there and pat it down might stomp it down actually put a bit more in there look we're not gardeners people but uh, we're having a go anyway there we go put plenty in it'll, it'll sink down anyway won't it yeah that might do right let's get that in there oh yeah it's a big hole there look get that filled in You keep your eyes off it, Merlin. What are you reckon? Be alright? Are you putting a bit of seed on then? Put a bit of earth on Yeah, the yeah, we will do. Harry, in there on the on the table, there should be a box of uh, seed, green seed. Green seed. Green grass seed, rather. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely lovely out here. We don't do a lot of gardening, but at one time, people, I don't know if you've seen our earlier videos, or was it on my Retro Restore channel? I can't remember. That polytunnel over there, which we put up in, I think it was 2013, 2014, something like that. We used to have a raised bed out here, and I used to grow all my own veg in there many moons ago. All right, give that to your dad. Just some uh, multi purpose grass seed, how about? We just put some of that down. I'm not too sure what kind of grass this is, by the way, but. Uh, Green. <laughs> rye grass or just common grass seed, multi purpose. So we're just gonna it's wax some rice. Hey? Rice. Yeah, he's clocked it. Merlin, will you stop looking for shadows? So we're just gonna put plenty of that down, folks. Go around the edges, it blends the other colour in. Oh, is that what it does, is it? Yeah. Right, okay, so that's that. Now ideally what we should like to do would be to cover this up with some plastic cling film or something. Yeah. So we might uh, do that as well. We'll get this just slightly covered over. I know you can tread it in or whatever, but um we're just going to filter some uh, soil on top of it and then just tamp it down slightly. Otherwise you find the birds peck it, or it blows away, doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, hopefully that should help germinate it. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? There you go. Do we need to pat it down at all? Just a little one. Not too much. Yeah, there you go. That'll do. So hopefully the dog will uh, leave that alone now. So we've got a big one here, look. Harry? Yeah. Look at this one, look. Can you carry that bag? Can, Can you carry the bag? Can you manage it? Look at that. Right, drop it down just in front of the hole. That's it. Yeah, we've got loads of little ones as well, people. And the thing with Merlin is, is that when we, the reason why he started doing this, can you see him now looking for shadows on the floor? Look, we used to have the swing here. That, that swing was sitting here. And as it used to swing in the wind, he's looking at the shadows. He started digging holes. And we've tried everything to stop him doing it, but, uh, Stoy, there you Stop going over blinking shadows. Apparently it's a Rattweiler thing. They do it quite often. So we are trying to stop it. And we've watched programs on YouTube about it. And they say that it's, the, the, the dogs are trying to create attention for themselves. Because uh, they're not getting enough attention from their owners. But not in this case. Because he'll just do it. And you call him. And he's so fixated on it. And it, it just doesn't stop him. We have to physically pull him. Or raise our voice quite a lot to get him to come over. Right, so there we go. That's that lot now. So another sprinkle. Yeah, it looks like rice, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Plenty on. A bit round the outside, as Bert says, just to uh, blend it in here. And here as well. There's a bit few patches there, isn't there? Oh, don't squirt me. I might bring start sprouting up. Yeah. It is like rice, isn't it? It's normally like a greeny colour, isn't it? Yeah. Can't work that one out. Hopefully it will do the job. Makes a chance to see you get your hands dirty. Well, I always do it. Taught you, anyway. Here we go. So now that hopefully this will have a week to settle down. And we might get some rain in that time. But that soil is quite moist anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's soaking. So it should feed the, um, the seeds, hopefully. And we should be okay. Load of worms in there. Yeah, I know, I noticed that. In the, that's in the bag, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we've done as much as we can. We've used up that whole box of seed there. All these big holes there are now filled up. And we've gone over these bare patches as well with some seed and trodden that in. So hopefully that should do the job there. Ideally, what I want to do is to um, do all along this hedge, edge here. This is where some uh, pathway stones once was. And uh, I did plan to put a pathway along there, but uh, I don't think I'm going to bother now. So I'll probably earth, put some earth all the way along there. Eventually, the polytunnel's coming down anyway. So, um, yeah, we're getting there anyway. 
I'll leave that there for the moment. You can see how the trees are coming back into bloom now. The uh, little pear tree is doing so well. Look, look at the flowers on that in such a short time. Look, absolutely beautiful little flowers on them. Look at them, look. That's a conference pear, that is. And this is the uh, plum tree, which again, uh, we've been advised not to start cutting it or trimming it back until probably October time when it comes, uh, finishes its bloom sort of thing and releases its fruit. So we'll leave that until then. But uh, yeah, it's looking a hell of a lot better now, people. Once we get all this cleared off of there and these walls jet washed all the way around, uh, should be okay. Then start all the other work. We've got the front drive to do as well. We've got to re-gravel that. We've got some earth to take away from the fence line there and where all the blackberry bushes used to be. We don't want them there anymore. And also the carport's got to come down as well. So that's another job. This hot tub room, which is in dire need of uh, repair. The roof needs to come off and a new roof get in on that as well. So yet another job to do. This pathway or patio, which we laid a few years ago, about two years ago, two or three years ago. This now needs a complete jet wash off as well. The shed over there has got to be built. So yes, hell of a lot to do. And it, again, it's finding the time to do it as well. So um, we'll just pick up on stuff like this in our daily vlogs, whenever we do a vlog for the day. And uh, you can come along and see what we're actually up to. But this is just normal day-to-day -day life stuff, which we have to get on with, as well as filming videos and going out and doing stuff and doing our cooking videos. So it's all part of our day-to-day -day life. And uh, hopefully you can see that we have got a lot on. So I think that'll do for this quick daily vlog, people. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know Sharon ain't featured in it, but um, she's out and about. She's gone down to my auntie's house at the moment. She's not well, so i um, gone down there to give her a bit of support. And uh, anyway, we'll see you in the next video. I don't know what we'll be up to. Maybe a bit of gardening, I don't know. We might be carrying on doing this, might be something else. But we've also got a few uh, cooking videos coming up during this week as well, so keep your eyes out for them. And also we're giving away the Altenic Pet Grooming Kit, which will be on our Sunday premiere. But uh, we will be cutting Dougal's hair sometime this week with a kit. But the one you'll be getting, obviously, will be a brand new one, all boxed up. And that's only for basically UK mainland people only, folks, because we can't really send it abroad. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye for now.